Hey guys, welcome to motorrides.com. This is Amit Changani and uh, these two beautiful cars that we have behind us are the two cars that uh, Mattel showcased at the 2018 Auto Expo. And although these cars are not very road friendly, we have them with us uh, and uh, we'll uh, tell you all about them. And these look rather amazing. Uh, we have not been able to take them out on the road yet, but we can tell you that uh, the people of all ages, sizes, color and gender have been going crazy about them. So let's see what makes them so special. So there are two models that uh, Mattel uh, showcased at the Auto Expo. This one here is inspired by the 60s American hot rolls, modified performance cars, big engine and it has a Contessa under the hood. Uh, the engine we are told is unchanged although the exhaust sounds very different, the bodywork. With the copybook Mattel uh, hot flames over its body, it's lacquered in a very nice finish and there are a lot of changes which have been made to the exterior as well as to the interior. On the other side you have a more modern uh, concept. This one represents the more modern uh, racing cars uh, which are a little more 21st century and this one has an Accord sitting under it. As you can see the bodywork has been extensively changed and a lot of other changes have also been made which we are going to discuss uh, individually. Hot Wheels is celebrating 50 years or the golden jubilee of its formation this year in 2018. Elliot Handler co-founded Metal with his wife Ruth. She was the brains behind a little famous icon named Barbie. Maybe you know her? Elliot wanted to do for boys what Ruth did for girls. So he nabbed a GM car designer and an actual rocket scientist and together they created a toy car that looked cooler and performed better than anything else out there. The original Sweet 16 and iconic Orange track revolutionized the toy car industry and Hot Wheels die cast cars are now the number one selling toy in the world. Alright, so this one is the more classically styled, the more retro styled of the two cars that we have. And uh, this one represents the muscle cars, the hot rods, the American muscle cars of the 60s. As you can see, this has been draped in the classical Hot Wheels paint scheme, the flame paint scheme, and it looks astonishing. Not just from a distance, but when you come close to the car as well. And this one has a Contessa running under the hood. Uh, much has not been changed with the engine, uh, although the exhaust now sounds very different, a lot more throaty and sounds very, very nice. The interior has been changed. Uh, getting close to the car, the first change that you'll see is that the bonnet now has these prominent creases over it and uh, while even when you're close to the car, you may not observe it uh, very prominently. When you're inside the car, those creases are very very visible and underline the fact that this is a hot rod supposed to go faster and adds to the whole visual drama of it. Another great change that has been made to the car is this extended radiator grille which is now more pointy and uh, has this uh, chrome treatment over it. It is flanked by these uh, chrome grills for the headlamps as well which have uh, this chrome trim underneath them. The paint scheme uh, is prominently yellow and orange up top and it turns darker as you go down towards the lower part of the bumper. The fit and finish here is not all that great but uh, it looks astonishing. Uh, we wish that it was finished a little better but we are not complaining because we have seen people going head over heels for this car, standing next to it and taking selfies. So visually we don't really think those finer details are something to whine about. Coming towards the side, the first thing that will catch your attention are these chrome wheels. Uh, from a distance probably you will think that these are spoke wheels but they are not, they are alloys. And at the hub you have this crossbone and a skull which is a theme which has been carried over into the cabin as well and we are going to talk about it in a bit. Then you have that conical rear view mirror which is again a nod to the 60s, the classical styling and it looks amazing. The handlebars are also done in chrome and so is the fuel tank cap. But the PSJ resistor here is this yellow tint on the windscreen and on the side windows because once you get inside the car the world warps into the 60s and you feel like a rock star from the 60s and that's a feeling that cannot be described in words and you'll have to be inside the car to understand what I'm talking about and we'll get to that bit in a while and I'll show you how it feels when you see that longish bonnet through that yellow tint and hear that throaty sound of the exhaust. Anyway, towards the rear you have this uh, extended lip spoiler with the uh, Hot Wheels flames all over it and the chrome grille and the chrome trim uh, seen up front has been replicated here as well so the theme has been carried over to the rear rather well you also get the 50 years of hot wheels branding above the registration plate although this one has a registration plate it's risky to uh, take it out so we have been keeping it within the premises only and another big change that you see is this massive exhaust with a chrome tip uh, it sounds rather nice we are going to fire it up and make you hear the beautiful sound of it and what's wrapping it although is just sheet metal and doesn't look all that great. So visually it's quite a spectacle and looks amazing. Uh, people have just been uh, falling over each other to 
uh, get a glimpse of it and take a picture against this car. However, I think it's time now that we got inside and uh, showed you what are the changes made to the cabin as well. As you would expect, the interior like the outside has been completely revamped. The steering has been done in this chain kind of a style where the links of a chain are bound together to form a round steering and it has this skull in the middle of it to give it somewhat ghost rider kind of a look. It uh, looks rather nice, you know, you feel like mafia while you're behind the wheel of this car. Gear knob also gets a skull in place of a regular gear knob. Uh, this skull is uh, done in green and it's laughing very scarily at us as we hold its head and shift gears. By the way, the, the shift action is very, very fluid and smooth for a contest and I'm quite impressed with how the car uh, shifts its gears. Uh, there is not much to talk about here. You have these uh, chrome highlights here. You have this Hot Wheels branding here. And apart from that, uh, the fit and finish here is not all that great. Nobody was allowed to get inside the car. So Hot Wheels and Mattel has not paid much attention to it. You have these red uh, mats, plastic mats. And every other control is manual as you would expect. A few things have fallen off as well. But uh, again, this is not a runner. This is supposed to be a show car. Uh, seats, as you can see, don't have uh, a headrest. They are very, very classically styled, two-tone red and black, very sporty, and they don't have a headrest here, as I mentioned. Similar is the case with my seat. At the rear also, the theme uh, of the seats up front has been carried over, and uh, a two-tone red and black, very sporty kind of theme without uh, any headrest, as the case was with most of the classic cars. The car has been done in those colors. And the headliner, here is uh, done in black and uh, this part I think is probably the most well finished of the entire car. In the name of instrument console you have uh, a fuel gauge here, you have a speedo here, auto inside, you have a temperature gauge and I don't know what these two fuel gauges are doing here. There is one fuel gauge here and there is another one here. Both are showing me uh, the fuel levels. Then I have a temperature gauge here. And another one is there inside, so I think these are there only for uh, show purposes and they don't really serve any purpose as such, they are just there to be there. And uh, these are the AC vents. Everything here is like, you know, meant to be just there, you know. However, as I told you, once you look outside from this car, that long bonnet and the whole world painted in a hue of yellow makes you feel like a rock star of the 60s and uh, you would uh, Born to be warped into those times and live a life which was not as fast, not as hectic and was far more charming. I'm going to fire the engine and let you hear the, the noise that this car makes just so that this experience is complete. Let's fire it up. Being an old Contessa, this one took a little bit of time before it cranked up. It was spluttering and it showed its resistance to fire up. However, after it warmed up nicely, now it fires up in one crank. And oh boy, what a feeling it is to be behind the wheel of this one. The steering is not powered. And these are some old world joys that the young boys of uh, these days don't get to have. That long bonnet there. Oh, what a view it is. It's fantastic to look at. And uh, the gear shifts, as I mentioned, are particularly smooth. And uh, I just love the way this car sounds. It's simply a charmer. You take this car out on the road and you'd be a total, total rock star. There would be crowds running behind you going mad. It's quite an experience driving this one. Now we'll move on to the other one. Let's get into the seat of that one now. While that car was an ode to the classic era, this one is a nod to the more modern times. This one represents the 21st century more properly. It has the Accord as a donor car and unlike the other one which was a 60s muscle car concept, this one doesn't even get the classic Hot Wheels flame paint scheme. Instead this one gets this very prominent Hot Wheels branding on the side and also this Hot Wheels flame logo right after the fender. You also get this 68 branding with flames which denotes the year when the brand was first formed and the rest as they say is history. 
Now the front bumper of this car has been done in what is supposed to look like a carbon fiber but obviously this isn't it's covered in a tape which is supposed to look like carbon fiber but it's just uh, a stick on tape you also get this very extended splitter front splitter and uh, which lowers the ground clearance of the car and um, makes it look rather aggressive and uh, you also get these uh, twin rally lights the headlamps have been totally replaced and uh, now you have one projector headlamp and a normal headlight in place of the regular headlamp setup you also get this uh, DRL now up top on the bonnet you get the 68 marking very prominent again with a skull logo and again as we mentioned uh, this marks the year when Hot Wheels uh, was first introduced to the world and Mattel is commemorating uh, the 50 years of the legendary brand you also get this Hot Wheels branding here they are not very fond of the tape surrounding the grille because uh, it's rather flimsy and doesn't look nice for a show car moving towards the side you get these front fenders also uh, which are done completely in the fog carbon fiber kind of a finish the windows and the rear windscreen have been completely uh, darkened with the black tint and that's only one of the reasons why this car is not road legal we won't be taking it out on the road because uh, the moment a cop catches us uh, we will be in big trouble so that's the reason why we have been driving it within the compound only the b pillars are also finished in that for a carbon fiber kind of a finish the hot wheels logo is there on the left just the way it was on the right the wheels are 17 inches and get these uh, black five spoke wheels with an orange highlight the brake calipers are also finished in a contrasting orange the wheels on the inside also get this very interesting hot wheels lettering uh, which looks very nice and on the hubs you get the hw lettering which again uh, expands to hot wheels under the doors uh, you get the sills in the four carbon fiber theme which uh, runs across the car uh, on the bumper on the sills on the fenders even at the rear bumper and on the boot as we'll see the finish here is not all that great uh, you get this hw and flames with skull uh, branding uh, just before the tail lamps as well and uh, at the rear you can see a lot of work having been done the most prominent of this is uh, the massive use of four carbon fiber and this uh, huge spoiler which makes clear that this one is supposed to replicate a very powerful street racer and a modern one at that these extensions and uh, the splitter at the front has been replicated at the rear as well and obviously it reduces the ground clearance and makes this car a bit difficult than normal uh, to drive since uh, the front and the rear are extended and you have to be careful while maneuvering the car in tight spaces other branding includes uh, this uh, 68 branding towards the left of the car and another one right here towards the bottom right and the tail lamps have been completely smoked out to make no bones about the fact that this one is supposed to replicate a proper proper street racer which is uh, way more powerful than how it looks another very uh, nice thing that this car has are these extended twin exhaust mufflers uh, which are tipped in chrome and uh, this car sounds rather nice i'll just get inside the car and uh, make you hear the beautiful sound of it which is absolutely amazing So this one has the 7th generation Honda Accord sitting underneath and the cabin has uh, been changed somewhat although the changes are not as extensive as uh, those made on the classic 60s inspired Contessa that we saw before. Now the first thing that's uh, going to grab your attention is the steering wheel which is uh, taken from a race car although it's not of much use to us because this car is not road legal and we have not been able to take it out on the road. What you also get is these gauges uh, which comprise of a temperature gauge, a pressure gauge and a taco. What you also get is this uh, a prominent uh, tachometer on the left with a shift light, something that you typically see in uh, sleeper cars, street racing cars, uh, in the Japanese culture primarily. A few other changes that you'll see inside the car are uh, these seats uh, with the racing seat belts and they also have this uh, race inspired blue and white stripes over them and this racing theme has also been uh, replicated for the second row as well and the black seats with light blue and white stripes uh, can be seen at the rear as well now this car has a very nice sound to it even when you're idling it from inside the cabin it has a very deep very throaty hum to it and you would love the way this car sounds even though we are uh, not being able to rev it very hard uh, from the inside since we are driving within the compound i would invite you to come here and uh, have a taste of how this car sounds and we are very sure that you're going to be delighted let's have a look at that
So that was us driving the two Hot Wheels car showcased at the Auto Expo in our compound obviously because uh, we cannot take it out on the street since these cars are not road legal. If you like the video do hit the like button, subscribe to Motoroids and uh, do share the video with your friends who you think would care. Thanks a lot for watching. This is Amit Shangani signing off. Rev hard, rev free and drive safe.